Alright everyone, welcome to the Steam Backlog channel. And uh, the game we're playing is Conso Consortium, I would say it, but uh, it's Consortium. Shum, uh, don't ask me how to pronounce it. I have to agree on something. I have no idea what the game is about, uh, but I, I guess access is begin first time. Uh, all right, I'm going to time transport uh, to a parallel planet, and I'll be controlling a person. Heavy requirements. Kind of pretty. Oh, this runs like crap. I have to get a graphics card for this. Ten frames. Come on, it's like. Oh, please. Uh, I guess I played for a bit, despite the. Horrible level of the performance. Very hard. dead in the cargo container ship. The ship had initiated auto docking procedures and emergency personnel on site reported as finding no survivors aboard. 21 one, one, one. dead. Nothing further, including cause of death and origin of the vessel. Had it's been Rook 25. Will you open the door? Well, I'm coming in anyway. And that's the you latest better be from here in London. I'm Malcolm Thomas. Lights. Much better. Not so sorry to wake you, Bishop. We thought you should know about our little escort. <laughs> Worried? No, Bishop. There's nothing to worry about. Not unless you're afraid of a couple of crummy American F-35s piloted by a group of washed-up mercenaries. A few more bad apples who wish the war never ended. It's just another day in the consortium. Right. Uh, 
Oh, that's funny. You're good. Maybe they did once. You're serious. Global corporations make everything these days. History 101, Bishop. Where have you been the past 20 years? Are you trying to be funny? I don't get it. To escort us through Bulgaria. It's a long story, but let's just say the leader of this particular crew has a very strong disliking for our way of doing things. He likes to think he's doing the people of Bulgaria a service by pestering us, but really, they're as fed up with him as the K and I are. What? You just say, tell me more, and I'm supposed to jump. If you want to know more about him, search for Kirill Angelov in any of the ship information consoles. That's K-I-R-I-L. Or go and talk to the K. We just met two hours ago. Okay, okay. Someone's a little eager. So let's get you suited up and ready to kick some homeless arse. Here are your basic consortium tools. You got your PCU, BUS and assault helmet, all specifically tailored to fit you nice and snug. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. The group we're up against here are unofficially called the Homeless Mercenaries. That's because they're not tough. Not even remotely. Oh, you'll see. The K will stomp this one flat and you'll witness firsthand how it's done. yippee ki yay Mother Goddess. Aren't you the little eager one? You know what? You're acting a little lopsided. Maybe you should go and see Rook 13 in the med bay. Mm. I'll tell him you yeah. may be coming. It's your choice whether or not to go, of course, but I think it's better to be safe, right? We don't want a banged up bishop on our hands. Now, Pawn 7 and I have some CCU maintenance to take care of in the lower crawl. Feel free to wander the ship and meet your new crew, or maybe hit up the virtual trainer and complete your bishop training scenario. The VT is at the end of the hall, next to the elevator. Oh. All right, bishop. Suit yourself. Good afternoon, sleepyhead. All right, uh, hopefully it runs a bit better. Nope, same res frame rate and everything.
as well as I do, Patricia. Do you really want to get into this now? She could come back from the crawl at any second. Do I look like I care? Let her hear me. I do not deserve this kind of treatment, and it's time she understands this. <laughs> what kind of treatment? You've only been here a month and you're already complaining. She does not need to treat us like ants to be stomped on. <sighs> Can we just get back to work, please? <laughs> Fine. But I will not let her push me around anymore. Yes, yes, whatever you say. Bishop Six, welcome to the medical bay. This place is disastrous. I do apologize. Oh, come on, Kieran. Greet our new bishop. Bishop? It's nice to see you again. Through your MUVI, the device I implanted behind your ear when you first boarded Zenlo. I told you this before. I can monitor all of your vitals and even help in more severe emergencies. Medical Utility Visual Implant, MUVI. I told you this too, when I stuck it in you. It's mostly used to project your heads-up display. I can also remotely access your MUVI to help prioritize your healing nanites for maximum efficiency. All right then. I suppose there's nothing either of us can do for you. Now, Bishop, Alana was telling me you were acting strange earlier. Said you seemed a little mixed up. If you'll just step over here and lay down, I'll run a full body scan, just to be sure. Well, don't be afraid, Bishop. It's perfectly harmless. This will just take a few seconds. I will only take as much time as necessary. How is that even possible? I'm not entirely sure. Bishop, you have more simultaneous synapses firing than what should be possible. It's as if there are two of you, housed within the same brain. Two of him? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Is this some kind of anomaly? Yes. Unless the Bishop has an explanation for us. If he has never seen it before, then it is undoubtedly very rare. Whatever this is, I'd certainly like to run some more scans from our base in BC. Maybe after your induction ceremony. Now, we've got a lot more cleaning to do around here. <laughs> you mean you do? I will return to my command VR, if there is nothing else you need, Bishop. Good day, Bishop. It was really nice meeting you.
has never been to the theater before. Being a hologram in the seats, it doesn't really count as going to the theater, does it? At least it doesn't take culture for a Something better than the power to the that VR world to all the light. Hey now, that VR world makes her happy, no? I don't know. I just don't see the appeal of living the life. It's not really living. I think I've explored the whole area. Good afternoon, Bishop. I'm sorry you had to hear all that. That's nice to hear. Aid would have probably slapped him for talking like that. So, Bishop Six? What made you choose the consortium anyway, if you don't mind my asking? <laughs> well, the world is actually doing a pretty good job of saving itself. The end of a massive world war tends to do that. But everything comes back around eventually, and we'll be here when it starts. I really didn't expect that from you. <clears throat> well, from a bishop, I mean. And yes, I completely agree. The consortium can potentially make all the difference this time around. I'm sorry, Bishop, but I've got some work in upper avionics to take care of. Wade mentioned something about environmental monitors acting funny, and he wants me to check it out. Oh, hey. I know you probably want to get to know me and all that crap, but Rook 25 has just stuck me with many of Pawn 7's duties. Yippee! You are too kind, Bishop.
Well, it's interesting. I mean, it runs too slow, but it's still quite interesting. I have no idea what the game type actually is. Well, it's been exploration so far. Welcome to the introductory consortium bishop training scenario. I think here's the combat I'm tutorial. And I'll be your guide for today. <coughs> in energy form and has built-in healing and repairing functions. It is also capable of transforming small solid matter objects directly into utility energy. You see the floating pieces of junk around the platform. Use your PCU to convert them directly into utility energy. I don't see any... Oh, there we go. Floating piece of junk. This actually might be a VR game. mean-looking robot is about to shoot you. That looked like it hurt. Use utility energy to power your medical nanites. Either select the numbered slot on your HUD to auto-heal your injuries over time, or select individual or battle utility suit and assault helmet represent your basic combat protection gear. Damage gear, either select the numbered slot on your HUD to also repair your armor over time, or select individual armor pieces to repair from your inventory. The Consortium Energy Assault Rifle, or SEER, is your best non-lethal combat solution. Using its primary firing mode, the Seer projects a multi-target sonic pulse that can knock down nearly any unshielded enemy. Now incapacitate these virtual bad guys before they hurt the hostages.
bringing your enemies down, get up close and stick them with nanites to incapacitate them indefinitely. Notice that you can inject multiple targets simultaneously. Assault Rifle, or CAR, is your alternate combat weapon choice, and unlike the SEER, it does not need utility energy to function and instead requires physical ammunition. Go grab one now. Nice work, Bishop. The Kinetic Assault Rifle, or CAR, comes equipped with lethal rounds capable of tearing bad guy shields to shreds. It is also equipped with consortium issue non lethal shock grenades that can fire just about any type of grenade on the market. to either kill or incapacitate these virtual bad guys. We're done. Good luck out there.
scenario no. of this text. Oh. It was easy enough. Oh, here we go. It's probably supposed to find this thing.
Oh good grief, this game is really wordy. Alright, uh, I think I will take a break, save and take a break. Uh, this was Consortium and uh, I still have no idea what the game is about. Oh, there's the exit.